I'm joined now by a junior minister from the Maltese government. He's here to talk to us about gaming and about Malta's position in the marketplace. Malta is clearly a, an industry player. How do you go about maintaining and strengthening your position? Yeah, as you're saying, Malta has, has now put it in a position that it is the gaming jurisdiction. In fact, we are also um, proposing and issuing a new regime uh, that will basically change the system as it's how, how it is today. So today we have a multiple licensing system whereby an operator would have to apply for different licenses for different operation. And now we will streamline and cut unnecessary bureaucracy in that sense. So what we are proposing that will be enacted in Q2 this year is that operators will now need to apply for only two licenses or a B2C or a B2B or so being an operator business to business or business to customers. And basically this will put us um, in a more competitive position, more attractive for operators to operate from Malta. But not only that, Malta, we have the, the right ecosystem for gaming operators to operate. Um, it is something that we want to be trailblazer in, in this area. As the Prime Minister mentioned several times, we are also looking at issuing licensing regime and regulation for DLT platforms and the use of cryptocurrencies and issuance of ICOs, exchanges, and all the other related activities. In fact, uh, I can announce that in the couple in, in uh, and the next few days, we'll be in a position to issue the first regulatory regime in Malta to regulate cryptocurrencies, DLT platforms, and also uh, the use of cryptocurrencies in the gaming industry. Tell me uh, a little bit about a gig as an example of a player in Malta. Well, I think gig is uh, putting you now new standard in the gaming industry. And this is the way that we want to promote our industry, where we want to promote Malta, the way we want to promote the, the environment, the working environment for our um, operators and our, our labor who work in the industry. And I think GIG is setting a new standard in this industry. So I think this new standard will be then replicated and will have spillover effects on other operators. Gaming, Malta, it's considered one of the main pillars for the, for the economy. Um, it represents about 11% of our GDP and employs about 8,000 people uh, in Malta. Uh, but not only that, it, it creates a, a part of an ecosystem for the digital economy. And having a strong gaming industry, a strong ICT infrastructure, and a strong finance industry in Malta gives us the whole and the whole ecosystem needed for uh, the digital economy to flourish. And that is our aim, and I'm very confident that we will reach our targets and we will do it.